What's going on, everybody? This is Real Talk back at you again. Um, I'm going to talk about Mortal Kombat 11, the big controversy people were trying to make it out of, out of one character everybody tried to dismiss, and it's this brother right here, Jax. Jax is, to me, the best player, the best, most, in my opinion, ever to be on the game, because why? It resonates with me. That's who I identify with. That's who, when I'm on here, I go out of my way to play his character and his character alone. Damn anybody else's opinion. I don't care. The reason why I did this video was giving props to whoever decided to do this video. And there's so much discrepancy when it comes to us being represented and respected. But when it comes down to overall... I really enjoy the game, but the BSness that comes along with the game, people talking about race baiting, race card. What is so wrong about somebody who wants to liberate his people, who have self respect and self pride and self awareness? But when it comes down to him winning, people try to say, oh, he only got big feet. And or iron arms, and he's slow, he's this, he's insignificant, he's the mislike, dislike. But he beats it and level up, and all of a sudden people get upset about it. Why? Because it's a black character. Let me get this again. This is a black character. This is a fictional character. Man is not real. But be as it may, when you go on a Twitter feed and Instagram, he beats the lady. So what if he decides he wants to do? He wants to free American black people, so called on earth. Why? Because that resonates with him, his people, not Khan's people. Khan people, they wanted to resist, they could. But guess what happened? He didn't want to. What it is, it's the obvious. People thought because this was a black man, somebody else should have won. Or the character. Or whatever. And they knew that this was a controversy. Because why? That's the way pessimist people are. You know? And this is a video game. So he said if he wanted to right any wrong, if he wanted to undo anything that happened, or events that he can go back in time and get rid of, he wanted to get rid of what? Slavery for black people. Why? Because you tell me what is more significant to him or his people. Hmm? You tell me that. People talk about the American dream. What American dream? See that? Slavery? That's how America was founded on. Slavery. Ownership of people. Raping, robbing, murdering, stealing people's culture and reinventing themselves. So they can have pride and self-respect. So they women and they men will look at each other with pride and respect. In a video game, people was pissed off as even at that. Because they saw themselves, they embellished themselves, they liked themselves, and they appreciated themselves. They didn't care about anybody else's opinion. They had self-pride and respect. They didn't worry about culture vultures and gentrification people and people who only looked at the only thing about it. So, big ups to the studio who decides to do this. Big ups to everybody involved that have an open mind. What if we could do this? For people who say that they had nothing to do with slavery, why are you so bent out of shape if you want somebody to live their American dream, so call it? To be free. Well, they have their own last name. They have their own culture. They have their own way of life. Not seeing it toyed and played with by people who don't know and don't care to know. Only take. Only infiltrate. Only disguise and, 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 and confuse. On a video game. On a video game. People don't really want to give us that. On a video game. Let me say this again. A video game.
But as Khan and all his people were slaves, guess what? If they wanted to free themselves, they could. Now, let's take this even stronger than what it is. What it is, they don't want to see so-called black people having any kind of self-pride and respect unless it's from them stealing it from us and then saying it's theirs. And it was ours alone. Anyway. So, I don't understand why, but then when you read the comments, you know why. I'm talking about, oh, there were white slaves. There was no white slaves. Show me the meaning of slavery, and I'll show you a lot. Oh, what about the Jewish people? What about the Jewish people? What about them? Jewish people not in poverty. Jewish people bought their last name. They didn't have their last name branded on them, like so-called black people or Hispanic people. Because we're talking about bloodline and lineage here. We're not talking about necessary melanation. We're talking about people, tribal people. People were God's people, God's true people. So I don't want to hear anything about the Holocaust because why? Nobody want to hear about us. Only thing they want to do is deflect, put the deflecting shield. We got to care about everybody else's lies, everybody else's opinion, everybody else's agenda. That's why we got so many catch and fetch Uncle Tom's, Sambo, uh, job talking coons because why wow, they're getting paid to talk like that and on the low when they get off camera they ain't talking that stuff Say, man I'm just saying that stuff just for, for money I'm just saying that stuff just to get on TV I'm just saying that stuff just to pay my bill they don't believe that knucklehead nonsense 99% of them don't now the 1% that do that's the way they are and they find themselves stuck in there so Jax wanted to do what was more important to him to live like a king, to live with his people are free of slavery, bonded, gentrifying, culture vulture, people stealing their inventions. People are <clears throat> made so much money off of that to this day is money they haven't touched. You look at the so called Jewish people who think finance those ships. Well, they hide their hand, tell them, oh, what about the Holocaust? What about it? Prove that it ever exists. Prove that it's significant to us. Prove where you guys have suffered what we did. You can't. We didn't, suffer. We didn't end dealt and had to embody seven different captivities. You can't say that anybody else have did what we did, accomplished what we did. You look at all the inventions on the planet. That was invented, it was invented by us because the earth itself is ours. But because people hate to see anybody other than themselves, that's why I think about this. The ultimate infringement is Christ. They every picture you see is a white person. It's never a black man, which he was. Because why? Even though you read that in Revelation chapter 1, verse 13, people are not going to accept that. When you say the Jews are black, okay, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. So, I don't know, but that's what it is. So, this construct of controversy, it's no controversy. It's only because the narrative to be that the people will be wanting want to hear lies. They're so used to people lying and pumping them up that they can't even enjoy the game. And it's a video game. What about Thorn and Superman and Spider-Man? All this Atlantis and craziness. Oh, somebody off Krypton. It's all fictional characters, man. Or Hawk. Or The Flash. You mean tell me, you gonna tell me the fast man on Earth is a white man? You see black people getting upset about it? No, it's a fictional character. How about being the strongest man on Earth? How about being Christ? How about being an Israelite? How about being the noble people? You see us getting bent out of all shape and going on Twitter worlds and Twitter beef? No, because we know it's a fictional character. That's why. We know Christmas is fake. We know Easter is fake, Thanksgiving. And why our people do the 4th of July, I don't understand that. So again, all the controversy about Jack's ending, that's what it is, man. That's all it is. So I just say... A level-headed person, just enjoy the game. Just enjoy what it brings and the happiness. Just accept for what it is and what it's not. Don't get all bent out of shape. Don't be that kind of person. 
And this is why I tell my brothers and sisters when we talk that nonsense about Republican and Democrat, conservative, uh, progressive, mobbyists, it's still the same race baiting, race trolling nonsense, man. They got nothing to do with us, doesn't fix us as a people. And in fact, it distracts us even more, diffuses even more, because none of it's about kingdomship. And that's all it is, is about kingdomship, even in the video game. Everybody had their own world, their own gods. But because the American Jack wanted to free his people, wanted to free his people from being slaves, everybody should be applauding that. Man, what if racism didn't exist? What would black people talk about? No, oh, it's fake. Because why he could have freed everybody else? Everybody else wasn't enslaved. Everybody else don't have the last name. Everybody else didn't have the inventions, the, the culture stolen from them. Everybody didn't have the things they invented today that everybody used, stolen from them. They didn't have that culture stolen from them. A lot of people wanted to rape, rob, and murder, and hanged and lynched. Even today we're being lynched. Even today we're being run. Forget about the monetization, but we're talking about rulership. We're talking about position of authority, not monetization where you can buy, shop, and stuff. We're talking about the government body, the true body. But... Because as people won't want to accept it, that's where we at. So, oh well. Get over yourself. Enjoy the game. Move on. Whatever. Peace.